this is Stephanie Scriven. Today we're going to talk about uh, the 10 commandments of buying a home. So these are all the things that you shouldn't do when you're shopping for a home, beginning to think about buying a home, or when you're under contract. So rule number one, don't change or quit a job. Tell your boss off after you close. Um, two, don't buy a new vehicle that has to wait too. If you can, pay off your vehicle before you get started, that's even better. Three, um, don't use your credit cards excessively, don't put a lot on your cards, and don't miss a payment. Don't, don't, don't miss a payment. Four, do not spend money that you put aside for closing. Leave it there, that's for closing. Five, don't buy furniture on credit. Don't put anything on credit, but furniture costs a lot of money, we get excited. Don't buy furniture on credit until after you close. Six, do not co-sign on a loan for anybody. Shouldn't do that anyway, but definitely not when you're waiting to close on your home. Uh, seven, don't originate new inquiries on your credit. So don't have your credit checked for any reason outside of your mortgage process. Uh, eight, don't change banks. It's just another piece that you're gonna have to give to your loan officer. It's gonna cause a headache. Uh, nine, don't omit debts and liabilities on your mortgage application because this affects your debt to income and it affects your borrowing power. So that can change everything and it can affect you closing in your home. And then number 10, don't make large deposits without verification. Uh, the bank's gonna ask for everything at the last minute. They're gonna double check your employment, all of these things. And if you have a large deposit that you can't explain, that might affect your closing. So for more real estate, household, and financial tips, tricks, and hacks, like, follow, share, and comment on my page, um, and you'll get to continue to hear all about it.